Oh dear me. Let's get comfortable. Where was I? I didn't stream yesterday. Because uh, I was too enthralled playing some new games, so I apologise for that. But we're back. And we're back on Twitch. God knows why. And I'm completely lost where I was. Oh yeah, I've got to give a dead man a party. So let's get to... Uh, yeah. Silver sword is boot. Oh, there you are. Okay, let's go to the Western Gate. We'll see Shani, have a little chat. I might do a bit of Battlefield 4 tomorrow. Or as an evil, haven't decided yet. One or the other. Can't see a thing. It's really dark. Tons of stuff here. Oops, sorry, mate. Excellent. I never thought a doctor's could be so full of really good stuff. Test the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox in an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad shaped medal? The Hambies don't got any medal like that. <laughs> Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <coughs> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. So, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, because they've not got beauty. Is that right, lads? Oh, aye. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a channel pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, bitch. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? 
It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's yeah, a strong piss solution, these guys so off. careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Hmm. Let's have a long story. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt. Proceeded to finish my doctorate and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press-ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. Yeah, classic Radovid. Can't complain, really. I've lived at home since the fighting subsided, resumed my practice, and simply treat the ill. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't the social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? Well, I'm a right. chat box. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince. And Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. <laughs> a man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. <laughs> Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a censor, too. No, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everek. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the censor? We can meet at the entrance. Hmm.
Let's go, Nick and now. Jesus. Got to stock up. I got cleaned out fighting uh, the wild hunt. Should we play on the bigger screen? See anything before? Looks good stuff. Oh, well, that's accidental. Old sheepskin. something else. It's down for its dust. Okay, let's go up. Alright, let me go up. Oh, for Christ's sake. Definitely having issues here. Fucking time. <sighs> Doll. Well, Suck copies of the same book. Family crypt. Hmm. Ah. Better. I can see. Oh. That's 
bit long bloody route now. Blood moss. Pretty damn hot. Okay, let's get up here. I've really gone off the beaten path. Uh, sometimes I wonder what the hell I'm doing. Shit. Sort out my sword. Bit decrepit. Hmm. There we go. I don't want a weak sword, that's for sure. seen this side of you what side is that how do I put this your romantic side used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials often covered in blood well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work off duty now waiting for you weaving a garland for the wedding didn't know you were getting married not mine silly my friends this garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tone was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh. <laughs> That looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. <laughs> if there's any trouble, just yell. Definitely light a few candles. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Wow. Money, money, money. Ooh, ten crowns. Let's light this place up. This is crypt. Not gonna party yet. Just slide this thing up.
damn locked. It's quite extensive. Okay. I should check where I am. Sword. Let's have a look at this sword. Fairy kill Ooh, bloody hell. It's a nice one. Yeah. That might be worth upgrading. I think it's cat time. Potions and explosives. Top, top. Strange how they just disappeared. Uh, that one. Now there you go. Alright, boys. Let's go. Cut size. this Honoretina, loving wife of Castatis, died in 1257. Hmm. Gold mug, nice. Well, I might as well next stuff. In the mausoleum, gold plate, <sighs> treasure. Looking like robbing the dead. Oh, oh boy, some good swag. That was enjoyable. Tombstone. 
inscription's almost worn off completely. Hmm. Old tombstone. Inscription's almost worn off completely. Hmm. Can't give him that. Alexei, age 19, beloved son and brother. throughout the crypt, every room. Bloody hell. Okay. Oh, I've already, uh... I say I already looted this place, missed some gold. sense Cat size before I press any more buttons wrongly. Life and death, fire and blood. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Okay. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Life and death, fire and blood, Time to light the voted fire. Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Yeah. Fire and blood. 
life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with a man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Kill him, Von Everix. For Olgird's blood. Well, this is a uh, different. Oh no! Never learn. Well, they didn't. Those bombs didn't do nothing. I don't think. <sighs> my, my! Ordinary horse hugs those Von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek, Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Old Geard's. I'm here on important business. I'm a swiving corpse, with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas... Mentioned you like to enjoy yourself. Well, it just so happens that's why I'm here. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Listen, Olgir gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? <laughs> now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me. After my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. 
But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tank into my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. Oh no, take my body, Witcher. I go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Guess I could bring someone here, and you. You could uh, borrow their body just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgird's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung eating swine herd. I've a better idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Oh. Great. I knew it. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the small insults? Death was a small price to pay to lie in a lap so lovely, and so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, <laughs> trotting along by your well-turned calves. Jesus. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Sorry, wasn't talking to you. <laughs> who to then? Well, to him, to Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. It seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. Which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So... Willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him. His mind. His intent. Uh, what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, sugar mama. Let's say you we leave this dank crypt. <laughs> There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. 
Only sometimes. Ha! Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Why not? I'm not fond of temple C. When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> The haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well, but no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Crazy. Damn. Keep your paws off her. Wish to rob our family crypt. Hmm. Cool, Florence. What am I doing? Excellent. Place is full of treasure. My God, there are bodies everywhere. I can assess spiders. Creepers make my spirit. Oh. 
Oh, no one. I love how he just jumped down on me. A spider when it jumped down, uh, actually, it actually jumped. through my ancestors' bones. On your way, leave the dead to rest in peace. Are you a witcher or a scavenger? Hands off the family heirlooms. Shut up. I do what I want. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Some money, you know what I mean? Ooh. Ooh, some good stuff here. Excellent. Emeralds, nice. This family is rich. Unlocked, nice one. Oh, that's cool. Lock gate, could get through it. Found a way. Shitload of dosh. This whole witch's life. What's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Those signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. Hmm. Jesus. Always check these little. Huh. Always check those dead tree stumps. Geralt, old chap, mind turning your ass around and going back to the wedding? I was to have a bit of fun, not a bloody walkabout. Keep this up, and I'll get sore legs. Is all? Not quite what old gear asked for. Fine, we'll go back.
Looks like I'm riding. Doesn't trust me to fast travel. Bloody fine mount. Good stance, powerful rub. Stay with us. Well, well. See you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. We must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. 
I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. <laughs> All these fruit quips. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I do anything. Let's go kill some monsters! Come, time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Time to say hello. Be nice now. No way I'm standing. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Aldona seems a curious choice for a bride. Did she come with a hefty dowry? I assure you, Witcher, my choice had naught to do with coin. Jonas' family is far better off than mine. They're the textile manufacturer. It took a lot of convincing to get Mother to agree to our, as some would have it, mess alliance. Oh, you never told me. Whatever happened to fortune is of no import to me and my family. It isn't. <laughs> Jonas told me the same. Well, the background doesn't bother him. Never does. Not at love's first blossoming. But give it time. Five years and you'll find few things that don't bother you. I'm beginning to find what you say, bothersome. I don't know where you're from, but in these parts it is rude to insult newlyweds at a wedding. Insult? I'm merely warning you. Know a thing or two about life, you see. <laughs> Geralt and his jests. He has a strange sense of humor. Very strange, I'd say. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you, uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink.
like, let's see. survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? <laughs> no, please, no! from the water an old pot mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes in case she can't find a privy you were supposed to fish out my slipper i'm at a dance now with one foot bed it is a wedding i've got to wear slippers oh look dearie i did take there muck must have sucked it deep in we'll poke your paws in there rut for it rubbish game What's all this then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid will be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant bore. And awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the miss in question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. 
<laughs> Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. What else? Okay. Look at all the shoes. I'm gonna roll. No amount of silk could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm hmm Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, dear. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something Look, wild. look, look, look. Munchkin's playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse? Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. Munchkin. Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a Midget? I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. <laughs> Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. I'm gonna lose. Forfeit game, I'm no good at Yeah. <laughs> you lose, Witcher. Hand over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin. What do we do now? Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win, give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him don the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say, he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? 
Agreed. Five percent is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everak a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everak. Rogue's long dead, by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. <laughs> hey, <Even> cool. Like, <laughs> uh, interesting. Time to drink. We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. This is one crazy quest. Fucking genius. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster, <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> God, I'm smooth. Oh, you're rather good at this. A chair could dance a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... You call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many. And not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all. Oh. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Mostly with one person at a time. 
And there's two of you. Aye, yet only one did what set your heart aflame. Me. <sighs> Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What? <laughs> You'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. <laughs> Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. I don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me! Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Everick. Because they are churls. <laughs> don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our your song? Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. I to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a wing. I promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a wing. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. I beg to differ with you. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll know. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shark. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you ended all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just that. Wait, you can 
see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Eberek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. All geared ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weight. All geared learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pain imitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it. I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me. Cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five. Took them on, all at once. Alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave. Often. Pours a drink for me. Gets soused himself. And talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry. I... It's all right. That was... Forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Oh, lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother me. Oh, Geard was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. Now, rebel on. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scope, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. That'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for porkers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hand chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, I sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. How? The man's got assies. It's a first seat to help himself. 
Jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you. And hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witch of London. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. Following some these. dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. How goes the search? No discoveries of note as yet, but I shan't give up. This witcher work suits me swimmingly. Hmm. Spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come. Jap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat and a coward. Missing man, missing nut. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse, now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. 
I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. Boar was fleeing a noun. And Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Those are excellent ears. Might try a pair like that. Just not sure they'd fit under my cap. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Ah, oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side, we will return to the wedding, where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire-eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed, you are not, Master. I uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altonsborough. Listen here, Master Altonsborough. <laughs> Stay close and no longer David come Amber, to you. David Altonsborough. I'll see to it your <laughs> drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. Undine, what's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a cat. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please. I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire. We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. out there. Oh, it's weird. It's like the conjuring of that kid. Ah, uh, my friend. 
first Witcher contract. Done. Fyander found, his ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher for damn certain. What's going on there? These flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. You're drunk and randy. You never come of that mix. <laughs> I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny, naturally. Your elf and happiness! Fortune smile upon you, white wolf! What is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the Swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the Swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that <laughs> cripple out of there! Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on. Got a nice 
nice and cozy pen for you. There you damn pigs. Pigs, annoying bloody pigs. Wrong with these idiots. Let's go. Get in there. Oh my god. Jesus, pigs, get in there. This fucker will not go in. Get in. Oh, come on. Get in there, you bugger. This could be some time. Turn around like that. Bloody other pig gets in the way. Fuck's sake. Come on. Now you're going back out. Get the fucking pig. Get in there, you bastard.
bloody Darth Pigs. Get in there. Get in. Get in. Yeah. Hey. Get in. Get in, you daft ass pig. Get in there. Come on. This way you're supposed to go. Jesus. No, what? Now where are you going? This way, you idiot. <laughs> it won't happen, Riley. <laughs> I'll never get a Twitch partnership, man. You have to stream more often than I do. Get down there. Plus I need a new PC and a camera. There it is. Here it is. Just don't get... I don't think... Um, Twitch supports smaller streamers anyway. Come on. Damn it, one take down. I'm not giving up. Been at this ten minutes. This pig just pushes past me. Come on. Come on, pig, pig. Son of a bitch, pig. Okay. No, no, you're going in there. Bloody thing, come on. Come on. Ah! Shit. This is so fucking annoying. Standing right in front of you. Come on. Come on. He's pushing me. He's literally pushing me. Oh. Come on. Oh, I nearly had him. I'm stubborn, I won't give up. Can't believe I'm streaming this. <laughs> Come on. That's what I had to do. Fuck. Hail, foolish 
peasants learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Whoa, Master Witcher. What were the trickery back there, the fancy finger twisted? I know. Seen that afore. Witcher told a lad to go hang himself, drew some flowers in the air with his hand, and the man lost his mind. Meaning you cheated, and shan't be crowned king of the swineherds. Shani, what is it Geralt says in these situations? Damn it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Damn it. Now for what I say. Go shove rakes up your asses, you peasant curs. Do I look anything like a swineherd? Come, Shani. I've had enough of these hay seeds. Forgive me, Shani. I've let you down. Uh, are you worried about that pig? Oh, you needn't be. We're here as a couple. I wanted to win you that, that thing. Really? I've beaten the it's main game. Nothing at all. I'm on the uh, first DLC now. Started it uh, two Shani, days ago. What's the key with you? What do you mean? It's the first, I'm first quest. Proud. That's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course. But still, yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. <laughs> uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? <laughs> I know you. That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll stay out of your way. Beaten the complete game, but there's still lots of quests to do. Well, little side quests. Uh. <laughs> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, I don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how? <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. <laughs> Let's get, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day, we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads, mutants calling us names! Stand down, swineherds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Now where's our plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got! Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Oh, here we go. Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass. Oh, perfect fit for your gun, you plowing gentle fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my battery's going on my... Step up. Who else wants a shame? Damned cretin crew to me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. <laughs> Had enough peasant spa. 
dog. Got yourself a match for a farm ever. Oh, Witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I'm tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Gent, you must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. I'm likely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. Your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. Switching controllers. I've been playing two hours straight, and this is just one quest. Mental. Let's get out of here. Bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride, the cat. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. There's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Or tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't <laughs> mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, Oh my God! Well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. <laughs> <laughs> 
That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Olgir's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. Please. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. Lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everett. Uh oh. Go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me. And your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? 
Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Chum, darling. Would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. Mm. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Eldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Sad drunk. What's <laughs> <laughs> going here? <laughs> I enjoy this as well. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, want to cheer up? Mm. Here's hoping Shani's a happy drunk. Puking. Where is she? Is 
shoved in mandolin up his ass just the way you pull the cupboards. Let me be! You turn like a gun. Still here? Thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Olgird could wait till morning. Seemed to like the Rowan. Thought you might want to try another form of it. I like to make necklaces out of the berries, but guess I am curious how this will taste. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You've got friends. Me, for one. Uh, in that case, let's drink to our friendship. To friendship. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <laughs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. Epidemics long forgotten, sure. But the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop your business is booming. Good. I'm right to hear it. See, coins tied to Torrent. But don't tell the old Battleax. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Da. Thank you, Da. I feel honored. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> You only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? 
really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in that condition. If they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. That was Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. Then she finally walks up, and you know exactly what she wants. What do you do? Hmm. Huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Oh, and change to style. Let's say I've grown cheesy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Ooh. Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. Just kissy. Heavy. So, how'd it compare? Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Not going back, but not about to waste any time either. Gonna use every minute wisely. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Here's taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. <clears throat> How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. You're the medic. Recommendation? Hey, leave some for me. We need to drink fast before they catch us. Come on, let's hide. I'll say this, I am romantic. But not in real life, sadly. <laughs> Roll me to the moon. Gotta fly to get to the moon. <laughs> You're dead wrong. <laughs> Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. What are you doing? What 
one usually does on the moon. That's a triple A game. <laughs> Sorry. Was it that bad? Or have you developed an allergy for me? Uh, I had too much to drink. <laughs> Awake already? For a while now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Johnny, wait. Before you go, I need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. quest <laughs> that was pretty cool Just as that, couldn't I? Shit. Tons of good stuff. That's where we're going to lose. Well, yeah, that's where we're going to lose the uh, quests from now on. By losing all the goodies. I don't want to do that. But we've reached the end of the stream. We'll pop the heads in, that was good. 5% experience. Okay, so there we go. Thanks for watching. And yeah, we'll continue this tomorrow. And I'd like to thank you all for watching, if you popped in briefly. 
and that's the end of the stream.